we're partners in this effort, and we couldn't agree which of us would give this award to Betty, so we decided we would share that great honor. So we're here to do it together. I'm sure all of you in this room know that now some 10 years ago, uh, 30 of the nation's most prestigious physicians and healthcare uh, professionals of different sorts draw, drew on resources from at least 100 to 200 of their colleagues and uh, uh, friends in the medical community to produce a document called To Err as Human. In that document, it was pointed out that medical errors associated with the delivery of health care in the nation's hospitals probably result in something close to 100,000 preventable deaths each year in the United States. Long before these probably, in the end, 200 people got together, the nation's leaders in health, uh, to come to this conclusion, Betty Moore came to this conclusion all by herself. <laughs> she did so as a result of her work with the Pathways Hospice on the peninsula and El Camino Hospital with her work as a caregiver for her own mother and many of her uh, mother's friends uh, uh, in a variety of different circumstances. But especially she came to this conclusion as a result of two tragic errors which in one case almost led to Betty's death as a patient herself. When she was given an injection of insulin meant for the person in the next bed in the, the room uh, she shared with another patient, in spite of Betty's protestation that she knew she didn't require a shot in the middle of the night, the harried nurse, who was uh, obviously harried for lots of structural reasons in addition to the uh, normal things of a busy life of nurses, gave Betty the shot anyway and led to very serious complications. As you and many of you know, a administration of insulin to a patient who doesn't need insulin can cause death. Uh, and Betty had a near-death experience from this er error made uh, by a nurse at a local hospital, which I won't name. Uh, <laughs> as a result of her ex various experiences, uh, Betty came to the conclusion that great gains could be made in patient safety in hospitals. And when the Gordon and Betty Moore Foundation was started, now almost 10 years ago, Betty and Gordon together concluded that they would love to make a contribution to safer, better, better health care delivery in hospitals and decided to do so in the Bay Area through supporting education, training, and facilitation of the role of nurses in providing health care. I, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about Betty. Um, so. Betty, I, I had a conversation with her over the weekend, and I asked her, Betty, how tall are you? She said, well, on good days, I'm four feet and 10 inches. And so some of you who uh, had the honor to meet with Betty know that while well, she is less than five feet, not that there's anything wrong with that, um, that she really has a gigantic personality. And she really is truly a change agent, a visionary, and a public hero. Um, what, and, and what makes Betty and her initiative at the foundation unique really is in her approach to implementing change. Um, first, Betty observed that in our highly complex system of patient care delivery, that nurses are at the front and center of providing over 90% of direct patient care. And Betty's theory of change in improving patient care is to transform nurses as change agents by um, further training, further education. And through this end, um, her nursing initiative has funded nursing education, nursing training, nursing research, as well as supporting the systems in which nurses work. Um, second, big problems often require bold actions. And Betty and the foundation committed over $150 million over a 10-year period to support the, the Betty Irene Nursing Initiative. And they committed over $100 million to create the Betty Irene Moore Nursing Initiative at the University of California at Davis to create a transformative nursing educational model. And during the reception, I heard a rumor 
that the UC Regents has approved, formally approved, the Betty Irene Moore School of Nursing today. So congratulations <laughs> to the UC Davis team. So I only have about 30, 30 seconds. Um, finally, I just wanted to make a few comments about what's really unique about Betty's initiatives and the foundation's um, work in this area. Um, the initiative and the school seek to, change, uh, to create changes that are measurable, sustainable, and that can be replicated. And the nursing initiative has already created models of care that have already demonstrated improvement in patient outcomes in our local acute care hospitals um, throughout the Northern California. And these models of change have been adopted throughout um, the different regions of the country. And, and, and the initiative has already garnered enough support uh, to find partnerships, um, from individuals and organizations from across the country, including the Institute of Medicine, Institute of Health Improvement, other foundations such as the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. So it is our privilege to present the Regional Public Health Heroes Award to Betty Irene Moore to honor her for transforming her negative experiences into lasting positive change for our community. And accepting the award on behalf of Betty Moore is her husband, Dr. Gordon Moore. I'll, I'll say a very few words. She was 5'2 when I married her. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a tough life. Anyhow, she has a recorded message that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Thank you. Aloha, everyone. Sorry I cannot be with you tonight, but I do want to thank you for this prestigious award. I want to thank Helen Kim and all the teachers who've made this program successful. I want to thank all the uh, educational facilities, the hospitals, the rehab areas, the clinics, and everyone who has made this program successful. I'd also like to thank the UC Berkeley School of Public Health. The foundation has been an inspiration for setting up the groundwork for the nursing initiative through education and critical thinking, as well as a dose of good common sense. It's quite rewarding to know how the initiative has been so successful in our surrounding counties. And I know that um, other areas in the world are now setting up our program. The keys to our success are education and communication. And in real estate terminology, they have location, 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 but we should have in healthcare communication, communication, communication. That is the key to success. I'm pleased to announce that we are launching a new school of nursing at UC Davis. There we will have the opportunity to put communication to work to the benefit of the patient. And that's our vision. I'd like to wish you all a very good evening. Mahalo and aloha.